back with you again, and I thought we would talk about Venus in conjunct to Mars, what we see when we have this in the birth chart. So Venus is our values, how we value ourselves, what we value, how we value others, our style of loving, um, represents our sensuality, our style of loving, and um, what we find attractive and beautiful. Mars is the planet of aggression and anger, drive, ambition, male sexuality, where Venus is female sexuality. So Venus is the passive, Mars is the aggressive. And um, so when we have this one in an in-conjunct um, aspect, if you don't know very much about in-conjunctions, you should find my video that explains what they are in themselves. Most astrologers do not consider in conjunctions a major part of um, horoscope uh, reading. I totally disagree. They are big deals when I see them. And they can often be the overriding factor in somebody's life that's really keeping them from the kind of happiness or satisfaction that they really want to attain. So they are not something that should be dismissed. So when we have these two planets, these are two social planets. Um, you know, Venus really represents how we show up socially, our style of social relating. And Mars is um, how, it's really, Venus is what we want, Mars is how we get it. So when we have these in, in conjunction, they really don't have a realistic sense of their true value or how they truly um, uh, are valued by others. So, you know, they kind of live a life of comparison. They, they compare themselves to others a lot. And they kind of have this um, attitude of, well, if you value me this much, then I must be that much valuable. So a lot of times they can give too much, especially in their early life. Most people don't actually keep this one going. Um, they kind of solve it around or before their Saturn return. So it's kind of unusual to see this one going in full force later on into somebody's life. Earlier in their life, they do give a lot. They make a lot of concessions. And... Um, this is really to be uh, valued or accepted. They want to be seen as valuable, and they're trying to bring that value in um, through outside means. So they're interesting in that you get one or the other when you have this type, this, this um aspect to you, one or the other type of person. The one is the giver, 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 giver. Please accept me. Please see me as valuable. Look what I'm doing for you. And the other one is the, I don't give a crap. I'm not going to give you anything. In fact, I expect you to give it to me. So it depends on the signs that Venus and Mars are in. Which planet is stronger is really the one that will lead. So it's... Um, very common for these people to lead very difficult love lives because they are not easily satisfied. What they like sensually and what they like sexually is not the same thing. So it's hard for them to be um, like sexually attracted to what they're sensually attracted to. See what I'm saying? So there's a certain amount of dissatisfaction because um, those two elements within themselves is not on the same page. So they see this showing up in their relationships. And, you know, they have a hard time linking their eye for beauty with the kind of physical release that they're looking for. They can be frustrated that their relationships are just not satisfying and they can often feel that their needs cannot be met by friends or partners or by one partner. Um, they really need to be able to feel 
their will and their ambition, that's their Mars, they need to feel like that's not held back by what others think of them or by others' desires. So there is a um, freedom factor that really comes from this in conjunction in that people that have it usually come to a point where they actually are able to free themselves from the expectations of uh, their society, their social relationships, um, and their romantic relationships. Um, they are very easily offended, especially in their early life, because their egos are so um, tenuously developed. They're, they're really not solid in themselves. So once they can really develop their own values that are really independent of others, and this is something that they grow into, they grow into seeing that uh, the values of society are just that. The values of society. They don't have to be your values. Just because you live in a certain time and a place does not mean that you have to describe, to subscribe to any of those ideas. So this is one where they learn how to independently love themselves. They learn how to build up a um, social or love or romantic belief system that is very independent of what others think and what others feel and what, what others expect. So this is how they really connect um, their ambition and their drive and their anger, which is their Mars, with the softer parts of themselves, is they really have to redefine what those are. And in that redefining, there is the adjustment that we need to connect the two. So they can start out very rigid, and they actually, if they work this one out, if they solve this one out, they end up very pliable. They end up very accepting where their accepting before was not real accepting. It was, please accept me for doing this or being this or showing up and doing this for you or taking this on for you so that then I can accept myself. No. They get to a place where they're above requiring acceptance or self-esteem from others and they become generators of this. So this is one where they really see success through independent action, success through independent belief. And they start out typically very, very socially awkward and um, a lot of times very angry or you know, just kind of surly. You see that a lot with this one because there's this chronic feeling of just not, not being able to be happy because they're just, they're just never finding what they're looking for in any forms. So um, this one takes some maturity uh, to work out. This is one of the easier in conjunctions actually to work out because it is between two conscious, more conscious planets. And um, I don't know what it is about this one, but people do seem to to work it out and to make it into something. They really make lemonade from lemons with this one and they typically do it pretty early on in life. So my hat is off to you if you've got this one because it really um, does make for some confusing relationships in our early life and um, you'll get it though. I know you will. So please subscribe to my channel if this was helpful to you. You can find me on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com. You can find me on Facebook at Truth and Aspect Astrology. And yes, I do private consultation, email for appointment. I'll be back super soon with more super cool videos. Bye-bye.